Welcome to Lawnmower Mysteries and Oddities. I'm your host, Pterodactyl. Today's lawnmower related item is truly an oddity. Let's see if it really works. Buried deep within corners of decaying mower shops, ancient relics lie. Peculiar artifacts left behind, baffling even today's most experienced repairman. What lies beneath the surface of dust and filth will leave you dumbfounded. Enigmatic, perplexing, and unusual items. Small Engine Pundit, Pterodactyl, takes you through Lawnmower Mysteries and Oddities. Today's lawnmower related item is this. You ever see one of these? It's a rubber lawnmower blade. Check this out. It's rubber. Rotary mower safety blade. All new sensational rubber rotary mower blade. Cut your lawn as well as steel, but safer. Your family deserves a blade safer than steel. Do a favor, tell your neighbor, and use safety blade. <laughs> Listen to that garbage on there. Tell your neighbor. Safer than steel. Self-sharpening, self-balancing. Fits any rotary mower 17 to 22 inch. Durable and tough. Easy to install. Cuts grass clean. Runs quieter. Shock absorbing. Go ahead, flex me. Because that's what I do when I hit a rock or walkways. Most importantly, that's what I do if I hit your foot. I wouldn't want this thing hitting my foot. I don't care if it is rubber. It's still gonna cut you, and it's gonna hurt. Now, you know this thing is old, again, because I pointed this out before, because there's no barcode on it. You know, stuff, in the early 80s is when we started using barcodes. So here's the instructions. They want you to remove the spark plug wire because they don't want the mower starting up on you. Remove the steel blade. Measure against the old blade. Cut safety blade to size with a hacksaw. Replace washer bolt and install safety blade. Blade may be hand sharpened if so desired. No balancing necessary. And then all of a sudden they got important. While safety blade, trademark, guarantees against serious injury, the manufacturer strongly recommends the use of normal safety procedures while mowing is in operation. And then they were in Phoenix, Arizona, where, do they have grass there? Isn't it mostly scrub brush and dirt and rocks? And this thing was $12.99 back whenever it was made. So I got two of these. And we got them from our good friend, South Ham and Charlie, who's a fan. Hi, Charlie and Bev. Pterodactyl here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep one in its original packaging. This one, because the packaging is in better shape. And we're gonna remove this one, and we're gonna install it on our old lawn boy that we did videos on back in the day. I thought maybe I could, yeah, oh good, I could slide it off. The other one didn't want to slide off. So there's some more uh, stuff on here. While safety blade effectively removes most of the dangers of blade contact and thrown objects experienced with metal blades, all normal precautions should be strictly adhered to at all times. Now, you don't have one of these in your hand like I do. But there is steel inside here. It's steel reinforced. Now the steel ends right here at safe line. See how I'm bending it? You can kind of see. So this, this has got steel in the center of it. So the whole blade isn't really rubber. And then it's got the slots 
for universal mounting. So we'll take the blade off this lawn boy and uh, we'll install this safety blade, this rubber blade, and then we're going to go out and cut some grass with it and see what it does and then how it looks after we get done mowing with it. So it's a 21 inch, which I knew. So we need to cut it at the 21 inch mark. And then uh, I'll take my step bit and we'll get it to the right, the right hole size. So I'll use Mr. Paint Pen to mark that. So I know how deep to go. And then we'll cut that end off. I said to use a hacksaw. So let's see. Throw a block of wood under there. There we go. There's our dinner.
lower it down. Obliterated that beer can. Again, I wouldn't want to hit my foot like they claim. Too bad we didn't have a little stump. I think there's one over there. See what it did to the blade. Just tearing it up. I mean, it didn't tear it off. But you saw when it hit it, it kind of deflected off of it. That's why I wanted to hit it on the outside there, not towards the inside where the metal part is. And here's the root, it's still there. Didn't cut it off. It obliterated that beer bottle. After hitting that little stump, let's mow some more grass with it and see how it, how it mows. I set it all the way up again. I'm gonna go through this high stuff. Well, it cut this, this tall grass, in my opinion, just as well as a metal blade would have cut it, being that tall. Let's, uh, since this grass has already been mowed, let's set this mower down real low. See if we can tell a difference on what kind of cut it gives in this already cut grass. So I'm going to set it down low. I'll put it on number two.
it's not cut as good as a metal blade. Cut a path right here. Looks good to me. There's a piece of asphalt here. Let's run over that. Didn't send it flying, but it made it a lot smaller. All right, let's go back in the shop and take a close look at all the carnage I did to this rubber blade. Well, it did work, in my opinion. I think it uh, was a pretty good idea back in the day. It just didn't take off. It does seem to be a little safer when you're hitting stuff like stumps and that. I mean, it, it chewed it up pretty good, but it was still cutting after we got done. And you got to remember, this, this thing is probably 40 plus years old. So you know how rubber gets over time. It does start to, you know, deteriorate. But this held up. It's got, you know, cloth inside of it. But it did work. It doesn't, it doesn't do everything they claim as far as self-sharpening. I don't know about that. It did, it did seem to me like the mower was a little quieter, though. It did seem like it was a little quieter. But I'm not sure. We don't have a decibel meter to, to put on there to try it, you know, against the metal blade. But just in my opinion... But it did cut it. It seemed to cut it clean, like they said. An oddity, huh? Never seen one of them, a rubber blade like that? Safety blade? Again, I wouldn't want to, wouldn't want it to hit my foot, or I wouldn't want to reach my hand under there. You know, it'd still cut your hand off. Or it would mangle it pretty good. It wouldn't give it a clean cut. I'm sure it would mangle it. But uh, as far as like hitting objects, what did we hit? Beer can, plastic bottle that had some liquid in it, some asphalt, uh, beer can, beer bottle, safety blade. Maybe, maybe somebody will bring it back. Maybe some company will bring it back. It does got patents on it. But it did work. Well, grass rats. In the comments section below, tell me what you think about this safety blade. And go to our playlist section and you can check out all our past episodes of Lawnmower Mysteries and Oddities. Check out our web store where we've got all kinds of stuff for sale, like this beautiful ring tee. This would look good on you, grass rat. So tune in next time for another episode of Lawnmower Mysteries and Oddities. And I'm Carl Malden. I mean, Pterodactyl. Lawn.